All right, well, let's go back to Jack, and I think we have another science question waiting for us. Is that correct? We sure do. All this right. one seems like oh, it might be oh, goody. a little quicker, but I'm not the one who knows that. What's the difference between a biome and an ecosystem? Jack, I can just, I can talk forever, so <laughs> I, I don't mind. No question is going to be too short. Right. <laughs> um, let's see, so biome and ecosystem. Um, all right, I'll, I can make this one a little bit. Yeah, I can make uh, more in depth than just the straight up answer. So uh, I think that sometimes, especially in, in um, the sciences, I see this, maybe I'm partial to that because that's where I work, but in the sciences, there's lots and lots of terms and vocabulary, definitions that you're asked to learn in science classes. And a lot of times those terms and definitions are really important, uh, especially to us as science teachers because we look at students and want those students to be communicating using those terms so that they're being clear about what they're saying. At sometimes, though, I think that we focus so much on vocabulary that we sometimes lose track of really thinking about just what the difference between these things is and why that even matters. But in any case, a biome and an ecosystem are very closely related, but there's, there's sort of an important difference. So an ecosystem is the interaction of all living things in a given area uh, and, and the non-living things in that area, too, and how they interact um, it's sort of the environment as a whole. So, and you can have a small ecosystem or a large ecosystem, it doesn't matter. You can consider the Earth to be one ecosystem, one large ecosystem. You could talk about the bacterial ecosystem in this uh, television studio, which exists. Uh, you can think about the ecosystem in a forest. Um, and there's lots of different ways to define an ecosystem, but whatever area you pick, it's just the living things in that area and how they interact with each other and all the non-living stuff. Uh, a biome, uh, which is sort of like an ecosystem, is really just a certain type of ecosystem. So if we jump to my screen, I have a map of the world. Um, uh, the world is broken up in this map into different biomes. So um, biomes are sort of like types of ecosystems we could think of it as. Um, so you can see that here in Colorado, we are in a temperate grassland biome according to this map. And the other thing about biomes is that depending on who you talk to, there might be only a certain number, there might be very many more, but a, calling something a biome is just an attempt to sort of generalize what types of living things you might find there. So like the grassland that we see here over Colorado should have similar types of vegetation and animal life to what we might see over here uh, in uh, whatever country this is over here. Uh, I should be better at geography, but it looks like it's south of Russia. Uh, Kazakhstan, maybe. Um, I'm going to take a guess. So, uh, again, ecosystem, an area, and all the living stuff and non-living stuff in it and how it interacts. Biome, just a type of ecosystem.